was because of what that young man said. Sit down and put ice on your knees. And it caused Russ to lose his you-know-what like he did. Skip, I don't believe it. And going by, this gentleman had deleted every tweet that he had set forth except last night mm -hmm. leads me to believe that there's more to this than what he's saying. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to believe that that's what elicited the response that Russ gave him. Skip, what we're seeing, Skip, you and I both, we use social media. <clears throat> I'm probably on it a little bit more than you. But what social media has done is broken down these barriers and it's allowed people to, in their computer, on their phone, at home or at work or wherever they may be, to be able to say whatever they want to an athlete because most athletes have, have a, a social media pages, mm -hmm. be it Instagram, be it Twitter, Snap, yep. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And it's allowed people to be able to type, hit send, and it goes to that person's account. Well, what happens is that when you go to a game, there is no barrier. You can't go to a game. I don't care if you paid $50 million for a seat. Mm -hmm. You don't get to go to a game, Skip, and call someone out of their name. Talk about someone's wife. Talk about someone's mother. You don't have that right. The more money you pay, it gives you closer access to the action, not to be a part of the action. These players do not come to work to have you touch them. Skip, when a player wants to be touched, and you've seen this so many times, you've been to games, covering the games. A player gets an and one, or he gets a big play, he gets amped. When he wants a player to, when he wants to be touched by a fan, he starts dapping up the fans. That's the invitation. I want to be touched. Until then, don't do it. Skip, the guy, I forget his name. I can't think of his name, but he was a wizard guy. And he would he would heckle. Everybody. I don't care about who his name is, but he, he became famous for heckling. Yeah. Sure. No curse words. Mm -hmm. He would dress up, say things, oh, you terrible, our team's better than your... I get the heckling, Skip. Mm -hmm. If that gentleman wanted to say, Russ, you are terrible. Donovan Mitchell is 50 times better than you. Mm -hmm. Got no problem with that. Russ understands being a professional athlete. People are going to come to the game. They're yep. going to try to get you riled up by heckling you, saying their team's better than yours. Mm -hmm. Our player is better than you are. Got no problem with that. Mm -hmm. But when you start talking about, Russ said, he said, get on your knees like you used to. There are some tweets that would lead you to believe there have been that is what that man said. From the past, yes. From the yes. past. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to believe, Skip, like I said. Do you want to read that one real quick from October? Read the bottom one. Bottom. Yeah. He, uh, he says he also tweeted in October, Russell needs to go back where he came from. And then what else? Now, we, I, I, I want you don't that because. Care about that? No, no, I don't care about that All because right. that, that'll take. Because then All people right. going to say, oh, it's just because, Shannon, you feel this way because he supports this guy. Okay. Mm -mm, I don't All want right. that. All right, that's fair. All right. That leads me to believe why he said that okay. gives Russ even more credibility that he said what Russ said he said. And instead of his wife being, babe, come on now, you going too far, she, Russ says, she echoed what he said. What Russ should have said, don't threaten her. Bruh, your wife gonna call you to take one tonight. Mm -hmm. Now, Russ was for real, Skip, excuse me, Skip. Russ was dead serious. You know how I know he was serious? When he said, I put that on everything I love. He did. In our community, when we say we put that mm -hmm. on everything we love, that's your first warning. Mm -hmm. Now, when he By said- By the way, in any community, you do that. <laughs> Skip. Any community. If he said, yeah. I put that on my mama, yeah. Yeah. now you're going to have to do something. Yeah. Now, Russ understands- I agree. Skip, Russ understands that in this environment, and I think the guy understands mm -hmm. that he is no longer behind his computer screen. Mm -hmm. So there's that, the, the barrier has been removed. That imaginary barrier is no longer there. For me, and I always ask, you say what you say behind your computer screen. If you saw me walking down the street, if he saw Russ walking down the street in Utah, do you think he and his wife would walk up to Russ, Russ, get on your knees like you used to? Do you believe he would have said that? You see, what happens, Skip, is that he knows Russ is like, Russ is a professional athlete, and I should be able to say, what makes me almost as angry as the people that say these things is the people that say, if I made that kind of money, you could talk to me any kind of way you wanted to. No, you can't. No. Because guess what, Skip? Before I made this money, I was a man. Mm -hmm. I was a human being, and I demand respect. You ain't got to respect me, but I won't let you disrespect me. Skip, you know, 
we saw a situation this and 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 I know what happened, Skip, is that we saw Russ the way he reacted last week in Denver. Russ, Russ didn't fly off the handle. Russ turned around and looked. He looked real quick. He's like, so it was a kid. Explained to his dad, you don't let your kid go around touching people. He explained, come on, young man, you don't do that. We saw a situation, in, oh, uh, I think in England soccer. Fan mm-hmm. ran on the field, clocked the guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the flip side, but go ahead. Yeah, this is- How does Russ yeah. know? Mm-hmm. You don't know. If he's getting agitated. He's mm-hmm. saying more and more. He's saying more and more. So how does Russ know? Where, where is the line? At some point in time, the NBA needs to take a hard stance. Once it becomes racial, once mm-hmm. you talk about somebody's wife or parents, mm-hmm. you got to go. Mm-hmm. And don't pass out no cards. They, in Utah, they hand out card warning cards. Nah, bruh. Don't hand out no warning cards. Mm-hmm. This is going too far, Skip. Mm-hmm. And they, they're ratcheting up this, these, these, this racial because I believe Russ. Mm-hmm. I do not believe Russ reacted the way he did because yep. this gentleman told him to put ice on his knees. Mm-hmm. Russ was 99% inbounds. Now, I don't like the fact that Russ, but I don't believe Russ was going to put his hand on his wife. Russ, at that point, was warning. Okay, now, I've had enough. Mm-hmm. You said what you said. Let it go. That's why he said what he said. I'm not condoning it, but I do not believe Russell Rushbrook was going to go up there and strike that man's wife. Now, maybe the man's a different story, but Russ was yep. trying to give you fair enough warning mm-hmm. to leave well enough alone. It's hard for me to believe. And he was just matter of fact. I just told him, and the guy asked me, Skip, you can say things, racial epithets are not swear words. So it didn't mean you mofo'd him or SOB'd him or anything like that. No. But you could have said something else mm-hmm. that's a trigger. Yep, yeah, I agree. <sighs> this has many layers to it. Very. So I've had a lot of experience in Salt Lake City with that crowd covering big playoff games, many of them played by Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. And that place has a reputation for some of the most vicious insults in the NBA. Mm -hmm. It's a crazy, lively crowd, and I respect that part of it. It's sort of a small-town basketball crowd. That's all they have. That's all they have. And they go crazy, and it gets... It, it gets high decibel vicious because I, I sat courtside at a lot of those games. Okay. And obviously for a while they tried to turn their insults on Jordan. And you know how he responded. He never even acknowledged anybody. He just kept scoring. And there was the 97 flu game, game yeah. five. He went for, what was that, uh, 38 in that game. And then the classic game six when he closed them out with uh, 45 held the pose. Mm -hmm. So he went that way. Mm -hmm. I never once saw Michael even turn and acknowledge anybody with a glance. Right. I don't know for a fact whether that ever got racial or racist. I don't know. This probably did. I don't know that for a fact, but it it certainly, given that tweet, has the possibility, the capability of going over the line. The the gentleman's history. On his history. Right. Then he also tweeted during the playoff series last year, which obviously Utah won, and it got crazy emotional, obviously. Mm -hmm. And he tweeted then, Westbrook is a piece of classless, you know what? Somebody needs to kick his ass, Mm -hmm. okay? Hashtag tool, hashtag poor loser, okay? And that was when Westbrook had knocked the cell phone out of the fan's hand when he tried to stick it out. Right. I don't know what he was doing, but he just knocked it out of his hand. And Okay, so now we're back to where are we now Mm -hmm. as we evolve in the NBA into today's NBA? I've always had a rule of thumb, and I've told you this from the start. I just believe in not responding, but I've thought that from the start. In my little world where I go out and I've been insulted in public, and I just try to ignore because I don't know how I can win that fight. Right. And and again, I don't get racially insulted. I do get insulted, though, and some of it gets very personal. Right. And some of it somehow my my wife can get very – she's – she wants to fight. Right. <laughs> and she probably would if I would let her. But but where are we going with that? Right. So to me, my second rule of thumb has always been, well, again, the first rule of thumb, don't, you know, just block it out, tune it out, because if you respond to it, you just fuel it and make it worse because they're, they're trying to get under your skin. They're trying to get you off your game. That's the whole intent of it. Right. But I do think there's a new line that's getting crossed to your point about Twitter where these are frustrated fans, they might want to be you, you know, they couldn't be you, and so they're going to get you, they're going to get even with you because they they paid their money, they can say whatever the hell they want to exactly. say, right? Because they, believe that, they yeah. believe that too. Okay, all right. So then there's rule of thumb number two. There's there's a new way. 
you just turn and find the nearest security person or usher and you just say him out. Right. And I'm pretty sure they will usher them out if you convince the usher or the security person, he just said this to me. Right. I'm pretty sure they'll do that. Right. I'd hope so, so. So that's one way out of this. Mm -hmm. That's the clean, you know, cleanest way out. Way, right. Okay, so Russ, okay, I'm gonna get to a point about Russ here because the, Russ is different. He's built different than Michael Jordan. He's built different than the, most people. Yes. He actually is fueled by all this because it doesn't get him off his game. It actually gets him on his game. Right. He played great last played night. I, I watched the whole game and down the stretch, he was sensational. He, it was 2.51 left in the game when it was still teetering a little bit. He hit the deepest three he's made all year. He <laughs> shot it from five feet beyond the top of the circle three-point line. Did. It was a bomb. And you can't tell me that was for that, you know, that wasn't for that guy. That, that, was, that was like here. And he goes up the court and he's screaming at everybody as he goes up the court. Okay? Bully for him. But, but when you go over the edge into, I'm gonna F you up and I'm gonna F your wife up, not that he, did, he felt that because like you said, he put his family on that. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so let's do the hypothetical. Let's do Shannon Sharp in the street and you get racially insulted. Let's, you get N-word insulted. Okay, what, what are you going to do now? How are you gonna handle this? Seriously, th think about it. Are, are you going to Put hands on? Or are you, are you yeah, to, Skip. I, you want me? To, you want me to lie? You want me to tell you the truth? I just want you, to tell you the truth. You tell always told me you say when I took this job, you yeah. say I just want you to be okay. truthful. All right, Skip. You're probably gonna have a new partner. Okay, because you're, you're risking everything mm -hmm. if you.